once and for all, is Fortnite actually overrated? <laughs> um, no. I'm gonna say it's rated. You know, I'm just gonna say... I'm actually gonna say it's underrated. At this point now, in 2021, actually, I I, I could agree with you. I think I could agree that Fort Rate is Fort, Fort Rate Fort Rate is underrated. I would agree with that. I would agree with that, but I would also say that it's underrated. I would also I would agree with you on mm, that. But I would also say that it's overrated. Okay, I've actually never thought you know? about it like that before. Um, yeah, I mean that that that's as good a segue as any into you know our main topic for today. Yeah. Which of course, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't. Even People have been say. asking us for this episode for a long time. I don't even gotta say. Is episode. Fortnite overrated? Yeah. So, yeah. No. And I, you know what? I'm actually gonna have to disagree with you on that one. Um, I'm gonna say. So you're gonna say the, yes? Oh, it's a yes. Fortnite overrated? Oh, I I I wasn't listening to what you said. Oh. I think it okay. is uh, not overrated. I actually think it's underrated. <laughs> I could do this all day. <laughs> Just circling. Around. I don't think I don't think that it's not underrated. Uh, I gotta be honest. I've I've never played Fortnite and uh, never will. Oh, yeah, never will. Because you know what? I don't support. What Nazis. I'm confused about is that they just keep adding like all I see. I see on like Snapchat and shit. Yes, um, you know, <laughs> yeah, I'm dating myself. Um, so like uh like a shit, they'll, like, they'll, be like, they'll, they'll be like, oh the Mandalorian's in Fortnite, oh fucking Thanos is in Fortnite, oh fucking you know, the human torch is in Fortnite or whatever. It's you know Walter what? White is in Fortnite. Walter the White snake. the snake. President Barack Obama is in Fortnite. Yeah, absolutely. Um Q is in Fortnite. <laughs> from, from the Bible. From, from from Q from the Bible. Of QAnon the fame. Q source. <laughs> I don't know that. Uh, it's like a, it's like a... Like a Dead Sea Scrolls type thing? It's like a source that we don't, like, I don't even think technically existed, but there's some things in the Gospels of Mark and some other guy that they think has to have come from a, a, a mysterious Q. Mm. It's Quell. Mm. It's a little bit of a theological history for you. A little bit of that. Q uh, is a character on Star Trek The Next Generation who plays a godlike character and an extra-dimensional being. Played by the same guy that plays Jesse's girlfriend's father on Breaking Bad. Oh, he's a Star Trek guy? Yeah. I did not know that. I've, ne- I, I've never seen him in anything. I'm sorry. Well, now you have. Well, I haven't seen Star Trek, so. Well, now you have. I did see Breaking Bad, though. That. I just kind of, I, I just wish that, like, more shows had, like, you know, I wish more shows had, like, um... You know, like, Wait, is that Jonathan more... Frakes? No. Oh. <laughs> so, you know, shows like Breaking Bad, Sopranos, The Wire, you know, the Twin, Twin gr- Peaks. Twin Peaks, Great Call Saul. Saul. They need more Better Call Saul, Great Shows All. Uh, these are all great shows. Um, I, I, I do wish, though, that there were more, like, scenes of them, like, critiquing, like, like plates of food that they've made. You know? Hmm. Like, I, like if, if, like, maybe, like, and then at the end, like, one of them's out. You know, and then it's like, ah, you're you're gone, you're sliced, you're you're diced, you know, you're 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 out of here. You're um, overcooked. Yeah, pack your knives and you're overcooked. And we could call yeah. it overcooked and it's like yeah. a food challenge show. That's good. Yeah, and it's like there's a secret ingredient box too. And the secret ingredients? Another it's Millennium Falcon. <laughs> it's a smaller Millennium Falcon inside this one. Yeah, we got a we got a Millennium Falcon here with a smaller Lighter Millennium Falcon inside that. The secret ingredient of. Yeah. So you think this thing's an old hunk of junk? What do you think of? What do you think of twenty X nine hundred space missiles? And then I'm like, whoa. That would make sense. For the viewers at home, Colin is currently um trying to insert the second Millennium Falcon into the first one. Very sick. Yeah. And it's in there now. JK, everybody, it was the escape pod? Was yeah, escape I, guess, pod? I guess. I don't know why it's in there. There's nothing. The uh, Lego sets all include an escape pod. So weird. It must be in like a visual dictionary somewhere. Yeah. I never had a Millennium Falcon Lego, though. Because we were not rich. Mm-hmm. Parents would not buy me one. You grew up in a, a elephant skeleton, right? Yeah. In the, the elephant graveyard, graveyard with the hyenas? Yep, that's right. Woo! Went to a Sox game last night. 
Sox are doing Sox are doing good. The best team in America right now. Best team in yeah, best team in America. Therefore, the best team in the world. America's still them. number one. Don't even care about. It it. Took don't look at the off. news. Don't look at the news. America's number one. Yeah, did that happen? I don't know. I was I was at, at the, a sports bar last night, and there was a, a clip, and it seemed to be from the game today or that day, and it was a, the pitcher getting hit in the face with the ball. Just, it just like absolutely destroyed his face. We could not see shit. We um, we were in the outfield and there was like nine of us and um, yeah, really, really don't have much more to say about the Sox game. Um, I mean, Peterson's just been dog shit this season. Yeah, I mean, that I mean, was his, a display. His A to B ratio is just like completely. It's just terrible. And, we were, and, and, and his and his and 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 first baseman Jose Abreu's horrible excuses for wall grabs and tech, teching uh, <laughs> won't surely won't suffice at E three. <laughs> and his A B ratio is fucking. Oh, and his A B and his A to B ratio is off the charts, and not in a good way either. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I took down the waveform. Oh, I, okay. I feel like a great wave has been. Formed around me. Formed <laughs> off me. I feel the let's form see these Star Wars way. toys. Let's let's see who we got. This is like uh, what's in the box? But without any video. Today we've got uh, looks like a a bark speeder. All right. This is but, all right. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Pick pick out a character and put it in my hand, and I'll tell you what what its name is and what are my thoughts on it. Uh, are you gonna see it? No, my eyes are closed. Okay, so pick a, one, pick a mystery character from the, from the Star Wars toy box. This will be a good one. All right, I'm I'm just feeling it. I'm feeling it right now. I'm not even gonna like look. Mm-hmm. All right, feels like he has. A little this is our bit. new hit series from the Star Wars toy box. Ooh, feels like he has a little bit of like a mask type thing or like a headband or like a headdress. You got a cloak. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, yeah. we got some. Interesting. Yeah, this is oh, oh shit! It's um, it's the fucking guy. It's um. <laughs> you looked. Um, you looked. You didn't guess. <laughs> the whole thing was you weren't gonna look. Yeah, I guess I, I guess I did look. It's this guy. <laughs> I guess it, it's this guy. It's um. <laughs> Another it's, great segment of it's, uh, the Star Wars toy box. All right, all right, all right, all right. Take it back. It's uh, it's the guy from the Trade Federation. It's, yeah, uh, Nuke Gunray is his name. You want another one? Yeah. All right. This time I'm not gonna fuck it up. Jawa. Wow. Not did you look? No. Oh, nice. I, guess, I guessed correctly. Um, Next. All right, what do we got here? All right, we're not holding anything. All right, there's no... All right, we got kind of a round head. Got a little spike on the back. We got a little spike on the front. Is this Maz Kanata? No, she's, she's much shorter. Yeah. She's Jawa-sized. I have not... Yeah, it feels like a, it feels like a woman. Uh, fucking, is it Leia? But in some sort of costume? No. It's not Princess Leia. Is it Amidala? Or uh, uh, Padme? It's not no. Padme. All right, I'm going to... I give up. I'm going to look on three. One, two, three. Oh, it's Admiral Akbar. Damn, There's... I was feeling him up. I was, I was, I was, I was thinking of some things. <laughs> and, I'm, and now, now those yeah, still am. Those things are still there. All right, one more for the road. One more, one more, one more. i got to find a good one. Yeah, got to be something he could guess. I'm not going to give him a dirge or Dr. Afra. Here we go. All right. Okay, so we're not holding a. Well, are we? Are we? Are we? Are we? We might be holding something. I don't know. It'd be his hand. I don't know. Interesting um, how he goes for the. That was like, like, ooh, we got. Okay, we got two little. We got, we got two ears here. Two little bumps. We got. Ooh, Your argument is invalid. Bam, bam. We got. Very tense right now. Is is it for our final thing? Wow. Okay. Yeah, a hush falls over the Shit. cicadas. Yes. Um, I but, said. <laughs> Uh, hush! Oh, there's like a little lump thing back here that is that is oh, curious. Boss might need to go to the. Oh, yeah, right. You need, you need to talk to your doctor about that. You might need to go to the doctor. All right, I'm gonna say <laughs> I'm gonna say this is. I'm gonna say this is the no, some sort of like lumpy faced ass dude. Um, wow, that's actually his name, <laughs> Lumpy. Oh, it's Bosque. Bosk. It's Bosk, everybody. Did you, know his did you hear me say Bosk? No. I did. <laughs> and then I was like, oh shit, I just gave it away. It's Bosk, everybody. All right. Well, that was, a, that was a great little that was a great little game. Yeah, they of, killed uh, about two minutes. Yeah, that was a great little oh, game yeah, of uh, Guess the Star Wars character. 
Uh, doesn't really translate because you can't really see the Star Wars character nor my reactions. Um, so uh, yeah, I guess this is. Um, I guess this is growing up. Mm -hmm. I guess this is growing up. Um, I don't know. Have you guys been watching the news lately? <laughs> we comments <laughs> on the Taliban. <laughs> Should Dumb Night thing address? The Taliban. Dumb Nerd thing stands Taliban. firmly against yeah. the yeah. actions yeah. of the Taliban. Dumb Nerd thing. Uh, we've been we've been uh, working hard uh, here at Dumb Nerd thing headquarters trying to figure out, you know, come out with a Our report. Response. Our response, the Taliban. And we've been we've been engaging response. in community dialogue uh, to to assess a plan for accountability. Yeah, um, that is so that is so true. Uh, can I just can I say this? Mm -hmm. Let's normalize. Uh, <laughs> the Taliban. No, no. I just that, don't the, appreciate news, the news is already doing that. Let's normalize that it's a it's a complicated situation and that mm -hmm. it, it's okay. Let people enjoy things. <laughs> Normalizing, nor, 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 normalize, normalize, um, normalize uh, redirecting your energy away from stressful issues. I exactly, exactly. And, and redirecting your energy into self-care. And positivity. Yes. The Taliban, uh, it's just that they've been trauma dumping all over. <laughs> trauma dumping. <laughs> I, I, I had to take a trauma dump this morning. <laughs> wow. That's when you're on the toilet. <laughs> that's when you have to take your shirt off. While you're on the <laughs> that's when you. That, yeah, that's when your whole, whole body sweats. <laughs> you know, when you're hunched over. I didn't get it. I get it. So I always take my shirt off. I like, had oh. to do that because, like, sometimes you gotta. Sometimes you gotta like get into it. You know? I saw somebody. Somebody was like, I saw my boyfriend like was like taking a dump and like he came out and his shirt was off. <laughs> So he's like, that man was fighting for his life in there. That's good. That's funny. Let's see if I found any good content recently. Yeah, let's just read funny tweets we find. That's what that's what the show will be. <laughs> Three white people reading tweets. Oh, we're so funny. We should have a podcast. Why can't we be funny on the podcast? Oh, I want to talk more about the Taliban. <laughs> Oh, oh. They they keep acting up. They're gonna be Taliban. Well, I got something for you. I got something for you. I got a tweet. Stream. I got a tweet that popped up. Um, someone retweeted it in earnest, mind you. Um, <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Tweet from a blue from someone with a with a check. Jesus was wonderfully clear about the people who need to be protected. Those without the ability to guarantee their own security. God, bless the weak. Our culture is confused and chooses freedom over each other's well being. Show us the way of love. Masks, vaccines. Compassion. Oh, how, how nice. Didn't know where that was going the whole I time. I didn't, yes. Uh, yeah, Colin, your thoughts. We, your haven't really, we haven't really um, like remembered I'm God in this conversation. Funny, I'm looking for a funny Yeah, story. how can we honor God with our podcast? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. That was a funny sentence. <laughs> I'm making, turning my chair into a water slide. Same, same dude. Oh. <laughs> Clifford, buddy, give me the cliff notes on this joke. What do you think of that? It's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 What? Okay. Okay. Can you, can you read that for the crowd? All right. All right. Audience? All right. For the crowd. There's, okay. You remember the meme of like the of like the ginger kid with the with bad the, luck with the Brian. vest? Bad, bad luck Brian. Is that yeah. his name? Okay. Cool. Uh, it says it has the biggest dick in school and enters penis contest already. Fantastic. A, a school's penis contest. That's amazing. Um, penis gnomes visit. Needless to say, this is a problem. <laughs> so the penis gnomes are at the school having the penis contest. Okay, hold on. I actually do have a good... We can go back on air now. I have a good... Um, I have a good... Uh, 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 good, 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 good. We're back on air, aren't we? <laughs> I'm looking I'm looking back through like photos just to see if I have any content to drag up and just like just just to just just to fucking pour Recycle. myself out. July 9th I went to a gas station where I took a picture of a there was a quote on the wall uh dated to 1109 from Anselm of Canterbury. This gas station it says God is that which nothing greater can be thought. Is... But I'm like that's an intense ass quote from this like medieval yeah. mystic cleric. Where was it? I don't know. I don't know Why where do I. I don't know where I don't know where I live. Or are you a cop? What are you a cop? That's wow. right. All right. You're under arrest. 
A um, cab includes Colin. <laughs> all Collins are all yeah. Collins are beautiful. Yeah, Colin, yeah, yeah. To shelter you, like, because, like, yeah, you, like, came and asked us, like, what? Uh, guys, what? Are policemen, can they be bad, too? <laughs> and then we're like, no, Colin. A cab stands for all Collins are beautiful. <laughs> all right. Can we address Marie. police brutality? Carol. Uh, we here at Dumb Nerd Thing firmly stand against any and all conflict. Yeah. I just feel like there's so many ways to work it out. Like, you literally do not have to resort to brutality. I was yeah. trying to think of a way I could do, yeah. a, uh, make it, like, 930 police dis- brutality we, way, Chicago, Illinois. What we need to do is we need to disarm, we need to, dis- we need to like, work to disarm the police so that instead of killing criminals, how about instead of killing them, we just, like, Rehabilitate ca- them. capture them and yes. put them somewhere. What yes. if we could shrink them down? And yes. then we could place them in, in like dollhouse and like pill yes. form. And then they could they could like the lady ones. be domesticated. <laughs> 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 you, were, you were shocked at your own your own your own words. <laughs> it's funny because it's like that's not a shocking thing to hear from you at all. That's like completely but it but it, but I was like what? <laughs> like, like first off, you're gonna first off, we're talking about like we're talking about like com- committing like horrible scientific experiments on like on probably innocent people. Like, like, <laughs> running down the hallway. This is so good. <laughs> with my head held down and then I looked up and was horrified by where I was. <laughs> that was great. That was a layer. <laughs> of anyway, fear. we here at Dumb Nerd Things stand firmly against fear. <laughs> Don't wear thing against fear. Oh, a campaign against fear. That would be funny. A lot of good. A war of against fun. fear. Mm. Yeah. For Halloween for season. Against, against spiders. Didn't ghouls, didn't goblins. John Coltrane. What's his name? John Stewart. Have a mark to eat to to stop fear. Uh, he had a rally to restore sanity. At the same to time, restore as... sanity. Jesus fucking Christ! After his special common sense. Did you go to that? So I did, no. <laughs> but it was a it was a it was a combo rally with Colbert. Colbert did rally to restore fear. To restore fear. That's that's fine. That's, that's they, a, had a, they had a they had a they had a was that that was the, was that like around Obama time or was that around Trump time? No, that was before. That was, that yeah, was, that was in like grade school. Like or McCain or sh- oh yeah, like shit. Colbert. That was when that was in their like golden heydays. Well, yeah. Stephen Colbert actually used to be funny, which I'm I, I John Stewart actually I love John Stewart in his in his old days. He like, was less like. Uh, trying he, to be funny, wasn't he more so like? Yeah, political, but like, but in a good way. He and was, in, he was like, he was humorous. Yes, but like Stephen Colbert seemed like more so. Just, I've comedian. always John Stewart is always so, like he is funny, and he's and I, I do remember some bits of his really making me laugh. Um, but yeah, it's definitely he's definitely more like the serious one, you know, mm-hmm. like and he's like actually I mean, he's less serious he, than like Wolf Blitzer, right? But but he actually like and he actually like does shit for issues and shit, you know, like. Um, but now Stephen Colbert is like. There's the pawn. Anti- of like, he's like, like the anti. He's like hooked comedian. up to the machine. Yeah. Like, yeah. like you know, like he's yeah. an animatronic. Same with Jimmy. Same with Jimmy Fallon doing his stuff. Jimmy Fallon was never like a like a revolutionary. Was Jimmy like, Fallon used to be funny too. Yeah. Yeah. He and wasn't funny on SNL, he and then he, at, he hit his stride once he found a show. When he was after Conan. It, I watched at a, first. It was great. A really actually actually very good YouTube video on like late night comedy and like how how it's it's just become a, a joke. And it has to do with Colbert's anti, like super, super lame anti-Trump stuff mm-hmm. being like getting him to number one, and then that like I don't know the people in suits who look at Excel sheets like figured out that if shows do X Y and Z then you know it, which is basically was more Trump stuff, and it was talking about like Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Fallon, and uh, St- Stephen Colbert were the big three, and they just showed some of the clips, and it is. Like so embarrassing. Nasty. I um, I always heard the stereotype like Jimmy Fallon fake laughs, and mm-hmm. I was like, well, yeah, like I guess he does, but like there's so much more worse things about him that I like. How, how do we know he's fake laughing? And they showed a bunch of clips of his fake like yeah cracking up, and I you want to like. Oh, it's nasty. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. It's pretty scary. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and like yeah. the way he like okay like when they started to they would do some celebrity games that were fun, you know, like, like, or, and like, I love the one, like, I love the content that they would, they would do with like the roots. Cause the roots are really cool. And they would like do songs and make them up and shit. 
But then they would do some games with celebrities and shit just to be like wacky. That's fine and all, but now like every celebrity has to do like and it's and and, and, and here's the thing that's really gross is that is how as how like prevalently and like quickly it's like it like floods media not just mm. social media like social media but like all media well, it's like designed, it's like the money is in like them having youtube clips so that's exactly what yeah so so now. it's like omg robert de niro like you know like cleans his bussy out to like to, <laughs> to, 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 to jesus i don't know <laughs> do sex work or Robert De Niro like reads WAP in a <laughs> funny voice Ariana Grande pretends to blow one of the Hungry Hungry Hippos <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck that's, that's good that's, oh that's like a really it's really random thought that's really funny <laughs> it's kind of hot though I feel like every time I see those pop up it's always like Ariana Grande on on Making silly Maybe that's my stuff. algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm telling myself. Yeah, they're all like fan. They're all like fan edits. They're, they're not fans. So fan is a weird word to say. They're not they're all it's to say it's not only fans. Um, um, Speaking of only fans, it is hot in here. It is hot. It is hot. It's pretty hot. You guys want to put a smash? Um, I, I I can do whatever. I um, I have nothing. I'm 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 at your beck and calls. What media are we excited for coming up? Are you guys excited for the new Dune at all? I actually was going to text him and be like, should I be excited for Dune? <laughs> I never saw the original. I've heard it's terrible. But it's David Lynch. Yeah. I, I mean, it's like one of those foundational sci-fi works. Uh, which... I would be interested in some days. Zendaya and Timothée Chalamet. Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a bit of a... I, I, I like Zendaya. She's good. She's a good actress. Yeah, just I watched like, Euphoria. She was great in Spider-Man Homecoming. <laughs> where she played... Mary Jane Watson. Oh, really? Pretty much. She's good. Uh, Not Gwen Stacy? No. I used to know all of Peter Parker's girlfriends because I had the Spider-Man, like, almanac, you know? Like, it was. I had, like, a big Spider-Man guidebook. Like, you know, like, the Marvel mm-hmm. encyclopedia? Yeah. Did you have one of those? Uh... No, I don't. How embarrassing. <laughs> but wait, what do you mean, like, all of his girlfriends? They're like, I guess... There was, like, six like of them. Three or four. Across all the... Con- they, like, there was a little section. There was, like, a page, and it had a little he's, tidbit he's about all of his girlfriends. got, a, like, a harem. Yeah, he, uh, yeah, a spider's nest, if you will. Or whatever mm. spiders use. A web. A web! <laughs> <laughs> a spider's nest, if you will. <laughs> a, oh, net- a, a, a spider's Actually, cave! spiders have nests! <laughs> Uh, no, dude. I mean, I don't know. I didn't see Blade Runner twenty forty nine, but it's that guy. Did. It's supposed to be good. Um, I love Blade so Runner. So if it's that guy, I fucking don't know shit about Dick. That's true. I hate it because I don't know shit about Dick. Uh, if I did, I would love it. Yeah, I, 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 I am unaware of any movies coming out. So, um, I really want to see Pig. Still, I want to see. Yeah, I do want to see that. Um. What's that one movie that's coming out with that guy? Oh wait, no, Pig is Pig the guy, the guy from Hereditary, the kid, the teenager, like the son. Remember him? That is old. You're thinking of? <sighs> yes. What's yeah. that? What's that's that about? Shyamalan. Like, do people like it? Do people? Yeah, say people are saying it's pretty good. Really? Okay. Yeah, cool. we're getting a little bit of a Shyamalan essence, if you will. Yeah. Well, what was Splash. other? What was other good movie that really Split? Split. Yeah, he did kind of. That was a good one. Pretty. Yeah. Pretty um. There's that, and then uh, I Let finally me... saw The Green Knight. Uh, it's the second it's good. time you said that. I've never heard of The Green Knight. I mean, unless I, you know, I'm smoking the devil's hash. Um, <clears throat> Green Knight. I guess I have a lot of thoughts on it, and I also don't. It's good. It's worth seeing. It's it not. Sounds like you have a lot of thoughts that you just haven't unpacked yet. It's not. Uh, what is it? You don't Actually, have to go see it, but it's based on like the old Spell Knight with a K. Gotcha. Um, but it's based on. Sir Gawain and the Green Knight, like the old like tale. Yeah, medieval story. Um, which is... But it's like... Tale of Courtly Love. It has its like twists on it. But like, I, I don't know. I'm not, I wasn't familiar with the story. And like, even people I saw with, some of them were kind of familiar, like knew about it, but didn't know enough to get the <laughs> twists. <laughs> Point is, uh, it, they were trying to do like a, like a, a modern version of the story. But like, they added they added a bunch of their own story, like mini stories in the middle of it, that I was like, oh, that's 
weird that they have like these side quests that he goes on. Um, but then maybe it's just in there because that's in the tale. Uh, and then no, that's just not. They just added that and it's just like cut from whole cloth. Um, yeah. I don't know. What are they called? The bad it's bad pretty. Show? It's very pretty. And. Awesome. But why are they called the bad badge though? Just because it's a bad show. <laughs> They originally were going to call it the bad. Because it's a bad batch of characters. <laughs> Poorly written. Um, so, speaking of medieval movies and content, mm. I recently found out that... Uh, might have even said this on, on, on the stream before. I just found out that The Handmaid's Tale is like set in the future. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought it was from Canterbury Tales. <laughs> no, I'm not no. kidding. <laughs> it's like the near future-ish. Possibly a future nearer than we uh, might even know. Yeah, with Donald Trump's uh, fascist in, in Donald Trump's America. Uh, Donald Trump's America. Can, we, can we condemn Donald Trump really quick? I'm can we? Yeah, let's, let's try it. On let's, get a, let's, let's get a one. condemnation. Two. Three. He has funny tweets. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I can't sorry. do it. I can't. <laughs> he has funny tweets. Yeah, I mean, he's a legend. I mean, he, he's I miss un, him on Twitter. He is un, <laughs> I mean, uncancelable. He did what he had to do to be elected. It's our fault for electing him. But uncancelable. Like, and, you know, some of his policies aren't terrible. I mean, shit, I voted for him twice. <laughs> twice over. I voted for him four times. Okay. JK. JK DNT. Yeah. I call him D- Double Donnie because he's always doubling. Doubling down? Doubling down, <laughs> what he said. Okay, so we take last week's, we take this week's. I think we got a good solid four minutes. Ten, ten minutes. It's like Eric Andre. You know, you tape for like four hours, you edit together the best time, like five minutes. This is hilarious. That's this a good. good so, what's this crystal bat suit? Uh, it's just like a, like it should be, gray, you know. But it's, it's blue, like a, bitch. Like, you know, holographic. You know it's good because it's blue, bitch. Blue, bitch. <laughs> that was not Jesse at all. Blue, bitch. <laughs> that was like RuPaul. It's blue, like, it's it was blue like, bitch. That was like Drag Race. Like, <laughs> bitch. That's like, you better work, bitch. You better serve that. Serve Live that pussy cunt. Pizza throwing up. Is he? Yeah, he was. Well, he gagged. Yeah. I'm sure it was a hairball situation. Yeah. My cats don't have hairballs. <laughs> if you were to. For our viewers, uh, we're using a. Uh, we're using a little force choke. A little Love bit. Three force choke. You know, you know, we like to fuck around and do a little force choke. Is the world so moving by at like 80 miles an hour for anybody else? I feel like life is passing me by these days. Bro, like, I am high as balls right now. Am I a man dreaming I'm a butterfly? Am I a butterfly dreaming I'm a man? Crazy town we live in. Crazy town. Come, come, Crazy come, butterfly come. town, everybody. Butterfly, come, come. Um, okay, best type of... Best type of, best type of one-handed weapon? Shotgun. Um, so the saber. Oh, I saw... I went to the Ren Fair this weekend. And there were some weapon shops. Unfair. Like unfair. <laughs> I didn't get to go. Yeah. And there was a, there was a staff like a like a mace staff, and the, at the top of it was a like a, a an iron hand that was holding a knife. <laughs> oh, that's sick. That's pretty <laughs> fucked. That's pretty fucking cool. It's like a fucking Morty weapon. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and on top of that, there's like another hand that pops out and like gives you the middle finger, like after it like stabs you. Um, yeah, that hand is holding another stick with another hand on it, with like another <laughs> stick yeah. that's holding a knife. This is, uh, I'm going to make your Star Wars guys into funny poses, but for those that can't see, uh, Zuckus is holding onto his tentacles, like one would with like his overalls, like, yep, it's a, it's a good day for old Zuckus. <laughs> yep, that's <laughs> another deal I secured. Hey, yep, yep. Okay, yes, sir. Got time for checking his watch, let's see what I can do. Oh, I can't believe I'm going to be late. Look, they can't all be winners. <laughs> but <laughs> you just did another time-based one. <laughs> yeah. oh, I can't believe Oh wow this is early. <laughs> Time is on my mind Time is on my mind uh, oh, You wanna go uh, cool off for a second? Yeah we Leave can, this room? We can do that Let me just delete this audio real quick <laughs> Don't Well for the remainder of this podcast Unfortunately I'm gonna have to be speaking in a country western accent I hope that country is a much obliged Oh uh, I'll have to be speaking in, in a sort of Cracker Barrel accent. <laughs> Wait, what is? What's that from? I, I, is that from something? I swear we just saw something with that. Cracker Barrel? 
Yeah. Yeah. I know somebody who at least recently was working at Cracker Barrel. That was a good start. <laughs> Are we recording? No. Oh. Are we? Yeah. Um, I swear I heard Cracker Barrel. I, ooh, I'm gonna, Mr. Either you said it recently or... As possible, it's entered my psyche after learning that somebody I know worked at. And I hadn't thought of Cracker Barrel in so long. Um... The main thing I think of with, with Cracker Barrel is those, the triangle game, you know, with the pegs. I've never been. It's from Archer. It's not from Archer. I haven't watched Archer in forever. No, it's not. It's not from Archer. I made that up. Oh. Oh. I thought, I thought I'd catch you. <laughs> the restaurant of Cracker Barrel is conceived for Archer. <laughs> it was created for Archer. But you can visit it. I've never been to a Cracker Barrel. Well, they have, you know, those, those triangle, it's like a wooden block, it's a triangle, and then they have pegs in them, and like golf pegs, and you have to like, it's a game where there's one hole, and you have to move, you can only move pegs by moving them over another peg into that hole. Oh, no, I don't, I don't really like that. It's a, well, yeah, you wouldn't, it's a game of strategy and knowledge. Oh, I, yeah, you haven't been to Cracker Barrel. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not exclusive to Cracker Barrel. Uh, all right, all right, fine, dude, fine. fine. Look, you wanted to have Cracker Cast. <laughs> cracker Cast. <laughs> We've had Cracker Cast for a long time. We've had Cracker Cast for a while. Well, you got a nice bed frame. Yeah, it is a pretty nice bed frame. Um, you know, the bed on top of it is much better. Well, yeah, definitely would. I mean, what's a what's a bed frame without a bed? A frame. <laughs> I wanted you to be like, did you just flick me? What's up, pizza? <laughs> I thought you could do that. He knows that open doors. Yeah. Ooh. All right, I don't know. What do, you, what do you want to talk about? What's in the news today? Besides the Taliban. <laughs> uh, I can't believe they won't let us wear towels. I'll say this. Taliban has small dick energy. I was going to say they I have realized, boss girl energy. I just realized somebody actually did tweet that out. Really? Yeah, I saw somebody tweeted, Taliban has small dick energy. Wow, how the fuck are they going to recover from that? What the fuck are they going to do? I don't even think I can talk about the Bad Batch and fill out this segment. No. I don't think we can do a whole episode on the Bad Batch. Did you watch every episode? No, I I skipped two episodes. Which ones did you skip? I understand. There's two episodes I missed. I can hear the waveforms. (laughs) Um, 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 something's gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit my stride when I have this most amazing thing. It's just, you're, oh, you're towering over me and I'm, oh, this is much better. I'm still, my head is a good sign. Yeah. It's so we are. We're just chill guys. You know, having a podcast. Oh. This can you believe this is how we make our money? Can you believe this is what, how we work? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, <laughs> you see, uh, I haven't engaged in any media. Um, you just sit quietly in the corner of your room, facing the wall. Pretty much. <laughs> Doing a lot of sleeping these days. Me too. Going out and partying, sleeping till you know. I literally 4 p.m. went over to. Uh, Luke's yesterday to play D and you know we were, we were hanging out and we had like another like ninety minutes till D and D started. Some might call that an hour and a half. Um, ninety uh, minutes. Ninety minutes, give or take. And uh, I, he was like, "Oh, we could, we could play some games. We could like go on a walk or something." I was like, "Honestly, I need a nap." <laughs> it, I was like, "This this sucks." Um, Maybe it's COVID. Yeah, it's probably COVID. That'd be, that'd be sweet. Yeah. I don't really know anybody personally that has it. No, I don't. I don't. I have met one person who's had it. Uh, Visions. Let's talk about Star Wars Visions. Oh, yeah. It was cool. It was yeah, cool. it does. It's going to be... It's very stylish. It's going to be very hit and miss. <laughs> some episodes are going to be awesome, and some episodes are going to be... Like, I'm going to watch with the like with headphones. <laughs> Yeah, I uh, I think it'll look I think it'd be pretty cool because the it, rabbit girl, yeah, <laughs> that'll be good. <laughs> I if they if that's a fucking kushiban, I'm gonna sue. 
Uh, yeah, I bet it is. If it, I am going to sue Star Wars for using their own for creation. copyright infringement. Copyright infringement on Port of Shadows. But I would say that Port of Shadows definitely, like, popularized it. Absolutely. That's, yeah. It's, I mean... Because literally, what was, a Kush, like, one comic from the 90s, and mm-hmm. then Port of Shadows, and then boom, Kushiban now City. Now Visions. Kushiban yeah. City. Now that's... It's a place I'm going to go. You've been reading my notes? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I watched uh, the first episode of the Marvel What If, and it's like, I don't know, it's, it's fine. It's passable, but it, like because it's an animation, it looks cool. Yeah. You know? It's hard for animation to, like, be super boring. I was just, uh, I was actually talking to you about this, but we were. And yet, sheets to the, wind. <laughs> the Bad Batch achieves it. Well, that's 3D <laughs> animation, you yeah. know? Yeah. Like, the difference between... I, I, cause I never watched any, like, I didn't really watch any cartoons as a kid. I watched like, you know, a couple. Watch like, you watch like C-SPAN. And, yeah, I watched, and, I watched C-SPAN. <laughs> lectures. But on. I mean like, but I mean like, I never watched, like all those classic cartoons I never watched. I mean, I think I watched Pokemon. Pokemon. What a, yeah, that's, shout out to Bill Cosby. <laughs> Friend of the show. Um, Friend of the show, Bill Cosby. <laughs> I'm just gonna. <laughs> the nerd thing supports. <laughs> we stand with Dr. Cosby. It's like a smash, like new character introduction. <laughs> Dumb nerd thing supports. Our next bullshit endeavor is stand with. coming out in favor of Bill Cosby. <laughs> oh, clearly, as a joke, not as a not you know to be malicious. But I, I watched. Oh boy! <laughs> I watched the two D Clone Wars. Yeah. Uh, first, and I was like, that was cool, I liked that. Um, and then I watched the 3D Clone Wars, and I liked that too. I mean, you know, for all its warts and all. Mm-hmm. Um, but I didn't realize, like, how fucking cool 2D animation could be mm-hmm. until uh, we watched Batman. Mm. At, at uh, all those summers ago. Mm. Namely one. Batman the Animated Series. We watched, almost got him. I think that was the only episode we watched. No, Maybe, we watched oh, Clayface. a couple. We watched, yeah, we watched the Clayface one. We watched the one where Batman, uh, the Joker is turning fish with you know, the clown. The Joker fish one, yeah. Oh man, that yeah, that show is. But is that show is like gorgeous. very, very like pretty more so than any other superhero cartoon. It seems. I mean, I watched mm-hmm. Spider Man. Oh yeah, Joe Perry Spider. Spider-Man. Yeah, that, uh, yeah. No, Batman has such a. And that a was a contemporary, right? Yeah, about pretty much. Um, and then they, like, had to simplify the style because then they brought in Superman, the Justice League, and the crossovers. So then they had to simplify a style and it no longer looked as cool. It's fine. It's good. It's good. I like, I like the DCAU, but, um, there's just something so classy about those episodes, the animated, original animated series, first three seasons. Yeah, very much so. Um, so I, I think, yeah, it, Visions, I think it's going to be, at least have substance. Definitely. I don't, I will take them like, like, well, that's sort of not fair, but I won't, I won't say this about the Bad Batch. It's like, I'll take a lot of bad Visions episodes for like a few great ones Mm -hmm. you know because at the end of the day like they seem to be like individual stories Mm -hmm. at least um and like the bad batch was just so like bogged down with it is it is a copy of a copy of a copy it is a it's a waluigi yeah but even more it was like it's like it it's it's a spinoff of the clone wars Mm -hmm. which is a spinoff of the 2D Clone Wars, which it's is a like, spinoff of the fucking prequel movies, which is a spinoff. Like, we're not in Star it's Wars like a, anymore. A paper baby Dr. Waluigi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. And it's like you have, you need so much, like, justification mm-hmm. for something like that, and they do nothing with it. Yeah. I mean, I, I know I said I didn't have much to say about it, and that's pretty much the end of it, but um, what the fuck was I going to say? The Bad Batch. It sucks. Oh, I was thinking about, like, the finale. Like, 
the fact that a character like Sid, who who is an a weird annoying like, oh yeah, is a tri- is a you know that fat Trandoshan. Yeah. Um, who like is not interesting, and I don't really want to see. But like the fact that she's such a big character, and then in the finale she's just like thrown. It just proves that all of that was like filler. Yeah. Like, crap. Yeah. They spend so much time doing those jobs that don't actually amount to anything. Because, like, you can have, like, two or three of those in the early episodes. Because, like, like compared to The Mandalorian, where, like, all key players that show up that are alive at that time are in the finale and have a very important role yeah. to play. Yeah, the season one's so tight. It's so tight. Um, it's so perfect. And it's like now that's the stakes are so much higher. I know this is the exact same thing I talked about last last time, but it's like this is so I I can't believe I watched this crap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and like I don't know. It's it's very weird. It's very weird that the Bad Batch is getting another season. It's like what? Who's who's this for? If it's not for us, who is it for? Exactly. There's enough of them. Well, like. It, it, people like are still comparing it to early Clone Wars and early Rebels, and I don't think that's fair at all because early Clone Wars was like what two thousand eight, mm-hmm. so like it was like the first George Lucas Star Wars content outside of the movies, and it's like okay, but this, this is the same creative team exactly. Why do they need to get be bad at the start of every project that they do? <laughs> right. <laughs> Um, <laughs> most people, most people like that are making TV shows and, and making stuff, you know, I don't know, expect it to be good at the start. <laughs> and also, and also, um, what I was going to say is like Clone Wars aired on Cartoon Network. Rebels was on Disney plus. Like it, I, I know not to, you know, out myself, but like, it's very obvious these are kids shows. Mm-hmm. And then those kids shows wound up like having cool and interesting things. You know, mm-hmm. it's not Citizen Kane, but it, it, it had some, some good substance in it. This, they're really like acting like it's like a more, like I'm not saying it's like gritty and mature, but like there's so many cameos that they rely on. There's, it, yeah. there's lots of prior knowledge. It's, it seems like it's made for more hardcore fans. Yeah, it very much is. I mean, having like... All the cameos and stuff that they have show up that are like, I mean, even having Rex show up, like for literally okay, Clone one Wars, scene. Clone Wars is a kids show, came out in two thousand eight. Let's say you're ten. It's been over a decade since Clone Wars came out. So if you were a kid when it came out, you're so much older. You are so much older, and so like, like having Rex show up, you know, and like even the idea of like, well, now you can binge the Clone Wars. I don't know if kids binge things. I guess. And, like, now know. it's airing on the same they thing. They call it binging. <laughs> Here's what you know. But what it's also airing on the same ears. on the same thing that The Mandalorian aired on. Mm-hmm. And Season 7 of The Clone Wars. Like, we're... To break, they had to really justify bringing back The Clone Wars. And they mm-hmm. I feel like they, they did. You know, it was a... They, like, did things yeah. with the show and changed, like, a lot of, like, context doesn't really matter for like the war but like for like and it's like i get it like you okay so you bring back there have been a lot of these like shows where they bring back like a kid's show you know years later yeah like i carly i carly it's yeah so weird it's very weird but also like or like he-man and she-ra yeah back. these are being made um like uh was it Rocco's Modern Life, uh Adventure Time. Like these are coming back and they're understanding that the people that watched them when they were kids are now adults. So they're made for, you know, they're made more mature. And yet here we are with the Bad Batch and it's like, well it's made worse than <laughs> the end of the last one. Yeah. Um Tommy was talking about it and he's like, you know, you have filler episodes. We just got a filler show. <laughs> and I know it's meant to fill time so they can say they have Star Wars content through. Mm. And I'm, I'm sure it's very cheap to make. You know, yeah. that animation style seems to be cheap. Relatively to Disney's budget for Star yeah. Wars. And D. Bradley Baker voice is like... D. Bradley Baker voice... In the Rex episode. <laughs> D. Bradley Baker voices 
first of all, four of the five main cast. <laughs> then he voices the big cameo. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been a lonely day in that studio. <laughs> you know, so as you've been doing side work at, by doing the recording and the producing at the same time. <laughs> yeah. It's just him in the booth and, <laughs> and the whole building. Yeah, it's been, it's <laughs> he's finished his recording and he sighs and he walks out, he puts on the janitor outfit. <laughs> <laughs> It speaks to his talent as a, as a voice actor. And then he takes his, the janitor's outfit off, goes into the manager's office, and starts writing everybody's checks. <laughs> yeah. To himself. <laughs> Be Bradley Baker. Come on the show. Come on the show. Do some funny voice. We're talking <laughs> shit about your show. <laughs> You're great. You're great. No, he is great. Nobody, nobody can, can say Be Bradley Baker's not a... Crosshair sounds a lot like a snake. <laughs> yes, he sounds like a snake. It's a mistake. <laughs>